guys, welcome to Wardra's Corner, the hottest corner on YouTube. Happy 2022, I've missed you guys so much. So excited to be back here with you. Uh, 2021 was a very eventful year, but 2022 is going to be big. It's going to be great. So I'm very excited about that. I'm also very excited about Wardra's Corner and the direction that it's headed. I'm also very grateful to all 1,300 subscribers. Thank you so much for um, giving my content attention and for the likes and for the comments as well. Thank you so much for interacting with me. I'm going to be today talking about what the year 2022 has in store for you. Um, it's a mini prediction that I did using playing cards. It's an art called Cartomancy. It's when you read cards, um, the energy. That the cards bring out it's something that i'll talk more on my next video because it's a service that i actually offer but before that today i'm just going to do a mini reading um you're going to pick a pile there's six different piles um i'm going to insert a clip then you pick one pile that you feel called to or two some people because I, I put it over on twitter as well i'm at miss underscore y draw on twitter that's at miss underscore w-y-t-r-a you can follow me on there um, and then we can interact with each other on there as well so i did put up the um, the spread over on twitter for people to pick their pile and um, some people felt called to more than one pile and that's okay you know um, it could just just mean that there's two different messages for you however the one that you feel called to most is um, the most important one so the first one that you pick if you say five and six then pay attention more to five but pay attention to six as well so you can have more than one pile and i'm also going to insert a timestamp um with where the different piles are it's a very short reading because i just really wanted to to to, to touch base and to also say happy new year and I didn't really get into much detail, but if you would like a detailed reading, you can um, definitely interact with me on Twitter. I just gave you my handle. You can also email me. I'm um, ydraex at gmail.com. I'm also going to insert uh, my Twitter handle and my email address into the description box as well. So when after you've picked a pile, you can go to the description and then see at what time your message is on then you can go and listen to your message if you don't want to sit through the whole video i'm in a type of shaky situation uh my studio is kind of falling apart but that's okay we're gonna fix that right happy 2022 um yeah and then i'm just gonna give you guys an angel number of the week before i get started with the messages and the predictions um an angel number is a repetitive number sequence that shows up um at a certain period of your life so it could be your 11 11 or 222 or 51 51 or 17 17 22 22 you know um whatever sequence you see that's an angel number and so on all my videos before i get started i um i um i give an angel number of the week and a message so if you've been seeing that number repetitively for that week that the video is released in or whenever you see this video and it's that number that you're seeing then the message is for you i'm gonna give you that message and then i'll get started with the piles um i have my screen on here so i'm just gonna read what i've already typed out uh, first angel number for the year 2022 is angel number 222. So if you've been seeing this number repetitively, expect a newness and renewal in your relationships. This could be romantic or platonic, but I'm picking up more romantic vibes. Um, there might also be a new love offer that comes in or an old relationship getting restored so a, a, a new friend maybe but possibly a new lover could be coming in and or an old lover who's coming in with um a new love offer yeah so that's for those who have been seeing two 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 repetitively for the past week yeah 
um, I'm gonna insert the different piles I'm just gonna pause this video first uh, for you guys to choose a, a, a pile so I'm gonna put in the different piles that I have then you can also pause your video choose the pile that you feel called to then um, go to your message and receive your message right now that you have picked your piles i'll start with pile number one this is the seashell pile here's what you guys can expect in the year 2022 i have the message written down so i'm going to be focusing on my screen here yeah? um you'll be getting assistance from an elderly and mature man it could be a father figure um this person's assistance in your life will bring in well-being and peace of mind so this person could be bringing in solutions to an issue you've been struggling with this also applies to maybe a deceased loved one or a recently deceased de deceased rather uncle or father or friend or, or whoever you know um it doesn't necessarily it's not necessarily going to be uh someone who's with us in the physical realm but it could be someone who has passed on as well who's protecting you and guiding you and um also of course it could be someone who's alive um for others right um the assistance that this person is going to bring in could be in your career life especially um or in any other area of your life you will experience some issues within your family uh do not let this lead you to emotional problems so there's something that's going to happen in your family and um you should deal with it in a way that it doesn't cause you to um lose your emotional health don't lose your emotional health over it there are going to be solutions and it's nothing permanent right um uh, you will not lack financially this year and will do very well in your own business um, if there are any business ideas that you've had this year, um, it would be the perfect time to execute. So if you have any business plans or ideas that you've ever thought about, um, this would be the, the perfect year to execute because it says that things in your business life will go very well. Yes. Um, keep, keep living by your own rules and doing things your own way. Um, so do not be afraid to be yourself, be authentic be creative have fun and then you value relationships and will be very lucky in love and marriage in the year of 2022 so there could be a proposal that's coming in or you know finally um marriage after a period of being engaged for some of you guys right so um there's also a bit of advice here talking about how you value personal freedom and a relationship with a partner who does not understand this might be filled with quarrels and disagreements uh so find a partner who understands your love and need for freedom this um could also apply in saying that you know a more open type of relationship would or polyamorous relationship would be you know more I ideal you know this for some of you who are on this um under this group and then you're very intuitive and should allow yourself to be guided more by your intuition trust that little voice inside it will never lead you astray um so listen to your intuition listen to your inner voice your guides communicate directly with you through your intuition so messages from there are directly from god and from the creator right um unity and love will be trending themes in your life so there will be love and unity be receptive be open to that uh, be more cooperative in your partnerships and relationships and be aware not to turn your natural leaderships into domination so you're a leader but you might tend to be very dominant and this might sabotage some of your connections and some of your relationships as well so just watch out for that um <clears throat> keep developing your mind as this will lead you to progress so this means just grow your mental capacity this could be through research could be research uh through um an educational institution or just research that you do on your own also pursue you know your um hobbies and um just find ways that allow you to grow your mind and your knowledge because that will be beneficial for you do not become too self-indulgent as this might sabotage you so do not overindulge 
whether it's on alcohol, whether it's on drugs, whether it's on sex, just make sure that you keep a balance in the things that you do and do not become dependent on a certain substance or a certain um, activity, basically. That's, that's it for uh, pile number one, Awa Seashell, yeah? Next, we have pile number two. This is the heart trinket. Um, <clears throat> here's what people under this pile can expect in the year 2022. This year is favorable for marriage. A lot of marriages are popping up, hey? Because even the first pile got, you know, something about marriage. So that's beautiful. You guys must please invite me to your weddings. I know how to dress. I know how to dance. You know, I know how to have a good time. I make a pretty good guest. So please invite me to your weddings, you know. Um, and also congratulations to you guys. This is so beautiful. Um, this year is favorable for marriage. So there will be many engagements and actual weddings for this group. For those who are in relationships, your connection is on the right track. For the singles and separated that could, they could be a new offer for love or an offer of reconciliation that will be made. So new love um, could be coming in or someone from the past coming back, you know, trying to rekindle, you know, fix past mistakes. It will be up to you whether you allow them back in or not. Yeah. Um, there are also chances that you'll be getting an inheritance. Do not allow racelessness and uncertainty to sabotage you or cause you to wander around looking for perfection. So you tend to be restless and uncertain about life because you're looking for, for something that is perfect. Whether it's in your relationships, whether it's in your jobs, in your daily living, you're a perfectionist. And uh, if you allow this to get out of hand, it could sabotage you and slow you down and also keep you trapped or keep you stagnant. But... Um, yeah just look out for that this year you should face challenges head on you've seen the results from running away from your problems so usually when you face obstacles you tend to blame an outside force or something else or someone else and you never want to assume responsibility so your guys are saying this year let it be a year where you face your problems head on don't run away don't escape through overindulgence that we spoke about you know and uh, whatever addictions you might have trying to run away from your reality your guys are saying don't face your problems deal with them get over them and this is going to be a beautiful year yeah and then this year should face challenges head on. I've just said that and that you've seen the results from running away from your problems. Even though you put out a cheerful and brave front, you tend to stress a lot. Failure to keep your stress levels under control will lead to ill health. So learn how to manage your stress. Also do something that will allow you to release stress and tension, you know, whatever it is that makes you feel calm. Um, and also exercise is also an option. You could walk, you could run, and that's just another option that you could take. Dance as well is another option. You know, you could do something that meditation also, praying also, do something that, that keeps your mind, you know, away from, from um, obsessing over your obstacles. We're not saying run away from them, but also don't fixate. Find a balance, find a way to accept a situation for what it is and learn how to deal with it in a healthy way. I think it's that's also coming, yeah, it's, it's also coming up, but heads, just a heads up. <coughs> Excuse me, accepting your circumstances and making the best out of them will give you peace of mind, like I said. And um, you desire money and love, but may constantly be disappointed in these departments because of your inability to choose or settle for one person or job so you tend to change work and change career paths often before you can establish yourself in one career path and you may also tend to change love partners frequently before you can build anything solid and this is something that your guides are urging you to look into because in 2022 it's a time for you to step into stability you need to be stable you know, in your career, in your love life, in all areas of your life, there needs to be a certain type of stability. And this is the year for you to step into that, which is why your guides are bringing in to awareness, you know, your faults and your mishaps and 
your you know misguidedness and it would be wise for you to pay attention and yeah man listening to your guides is is, is life-changing i know i'm getting rambly now but it is life-changing and your guides will never lead you astray neither will your your intuition neither will the holy spirit neither will the creator you know whatever it is that you believe in your higher power will never lead you astray so it's important to listen right and then you have fluctuating emotions and channeling these into your creative pursuits will be beneficial to you so you might tend to be moody you know and this might sabotage actually your relationships if you allow it because it's like mood swings yeah and you just pay attention to that and you're being encouraged to take up a hobby or something artistic like i said dancing painting for some even you know as a way to um channel you know those emotions into art you know and to 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 kind of bring in a balance in a way that these emotions no longer sabotage you and keep you trapped in cycles of relationships that are, are, are never working out, yeah? Take only what resonates. Take only what resonates. This is a general message and it will not apply for everyone. If you would like a personal reading, do uh, DM me on Twitter or email me. I will add my details into the description box. Next, we have pile number three. It's the cowrie shell. And here's what people under this pile can expect in the year 2022. This will be a period of spiritual development and honesty in your life. So you will grow spiritually. You know, this could be um, discovering new spiritual gifts or, or healing of some sort or some, some spiritual realization that you go through. But whatever it is, be open, be excited and enjoy it um you are also warned not to be too hasty especially with your feelings and in love so take time to make decisions take time to uh think things through and just be rational with the way you go about things especially with your emotions and in relationships you will be abundant and successful financially so um do not worry about your finances but instead invest whatever energy you'd waste on worrying into your business ideas or into seeking employment or whatever else that it is that can bring in money there are also hobbies that pay you know just be open to finding something that will bring in money for you and pursue it and have faith that it's gonna happen because your guys are saying 2022 is the year for that yes um i'm sorry i've just lost where i was but i found it there might be some obstacles that you will encounter in your professional or love life excuse me just a sneeze Oof. there might be some obstacles that you will encounter in your professional or love life Either way, you need not worry about this because you are protected by your guides. So you will face obstacles, but it's nothing to worry about. You're protected. These obstacles will affect you in your love life um, and all your career life. Yes. There might be some deceit or betrayal that you will experience and this will bring in feelings of disappointment for you. So I think this is connected to what I talked about above. You know how this disappointment is gonna be caused by betrayal either in love by a partner or by a family member or by a friend or in your in your um work um either you know you're not getting employed or struggling to get employment or you getting uh betrayed by a colleague but whatever it is it'll pass and it's nothing to to stress about and you guys are also saying watch out that the disappointment that you face in the past as well and the disappointment that you're going to face in the future does not cause you to become overbearing you know so because you were disappointed in the past or betrayed in the past by past partners or past friends don't let that uh, lead you to be overbearing in your current relationships being overbearing can be a turn off or it can be like a lot you know you tend to be too needy like 
I, I never thought I'd say this because I think I'm very needy, but you know, it gets to some point where it's like a lot and you just, it's just a lot. It's sure when a person is overbearing, it's, 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 it's a lot. I don't even know how to say it. A lot is the only thing that's coming out of my mouth. And so just try not to be overbearing. Try not to allow your insecurities and anxieties that are caused by your past relationships and past experiences and past disappointments cause you to um, be insecure and sabotage your existing relationships because it will bring negativity and toxicity into your newness. Learn how to leave the past in the past, let go, forgive if you can. I don't want to get into detail about that, but, you know, just um, something that I felt I should share. And then um, you are very knowledgeable and an application of this knowledge can put you on top in any career you choose to pursue. So you will be in a position of leadership in any career you choose to pursue as long as you stick around long enough to establish yourself. As long as you're not running from career to career i forgot if this was for your pile or, or if it was pile number two but there, there's a, a, a group of people that tend to run from career to career without establishing themselves in a certain career and so um yeah i don't know <laughs> i hope i hope i lost my train of thoughts but uh, apply your knowledge and um you will be on top in any career you choose to pursue yeah i just remembered but i don't want to go back there you are very intuitive and should allow yourself to be guided and led by this gift intuition is that inner knowing inner guidance never leads you astray they're saying trust it more that intuition is directly where your guides your angels the divine the creator communicates with you so you pick up messages from heaven from above from source wherever sources you know i don't want to get controversial with where the creator is but wherever the creator is the creator communicates with you directly through that thing intuition so you guys are saying trust it when you're making decisions when you are especially when you're solving problems trust your inner voice um it's a gift that's that's what your guys are saying the divine and your guides deliver messages to you through intuition. I just got into that. And that's the final message for pile number three. Take only what resonates. Pile number four is a see-through be bead. See-through bead. Here's what people under this pile can expect in the year 2022. Infidelities in a relationship. So this could range from white lies, cheating, or even divorce for some so unlucky in love but uh, nothing to worry about everything does happen for a reason and restoration is a thing that happens and it's beautiful and just be grateful that the divine is cutting out people that are not supposed to be in your life there are people that are supposed to be in your life there are people who are not supposed to be in your life letting go and releasing people who are not supposed to be in your life makes space for people who are supposed to be in your life People who are supposed to be in your life are people who will love you, cherish you, respect you, adore you, forgive you, spoil you, be patient with you, be kind with you, and you will be the same with them. It's a mutual inter-exchange of beautifulness and joy and happiness. Let go of the people who bring in anger and sadness and misery and confusion. Release it. Release. Yes? There will be an unpredictable event that will lead to a lateness or delay to a project you are working on or waiting on. You will be able to overcome whatever issues you will be faced with. So there is a project you might be working on um, and it might get delayed. This project could be personal or professional. You know, it doesn't really matter, but there will be a delay in that. So be expectant of the delay and just remember that there's something about dreams delayed or not dreams denied, something like that. It's that case, you know, right timing, it will come to pass. Just be persistent, be patient, and uh, trust in your guides, trust in the divine, trust in your abilities as well. Keep on putting in the work, even when it's late. By the time it kicks in, by the time it arrives, your work will speak for itself and you will step into your greatness, yes? Mm, you will be able to overcome whatever issues you'll be faced with with ease. So 
so you will easily get over it you know keep a positive mindset and be patient because whatever problems you will encounter will only have short-term consequences so your guys are saying this is only for a minute yeah indecision about love and what's expected of you in your personal relationships will be your biggest challenges so watch out for indecision and um you know the best way to overcome indecision is just to make a decision and stick with it yes i know it's not easy for some of you but that's just what it is and then also um you might be confused about what's expected of you in your relationship the best way to overcome this is to communicate clearly with your partner your needs and ask your partner as well their needs it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic partners it could be partners in friendship partners in family uh, setups partners in workplaces so in this case your colleagues yeah and then um find creative ways to overcome your issues so you do not remain stuck in unfavorable and undesirable situations so be creative with the way you approach your problems and um with your solutions as well and also um invest some time into some creative and artistic um pursue in, in this manner you'll be able to um it, work through some of those issues yes so being creative will help you to overcome your issues be mindful not to waste time on fantasies and trying to escape reality so you might spend a lot of time in your mind and just trying to run away from reality and your guides are saying stay away from that you are a dreamer naturally so dedicating time and action to the pursuit of your goals and dreams will bring you fulfillment so just don't spend time always in your mind dreaming also make time to bring to life those dreams through work through your actions through persistence through dedication uh through faith as well and just keep pursuing your dreams until you are at a place where you are satisfied watch out not to become stubborn or stuck in your ways so you might be hard-headed sometimes and you do not want to see other people's points of views the, this might also affect your relationships and your work relationships as well um you have a lot of potential to succeed it is what you do with this potential that will determine if you are a success or not so tap into your potential use your potential and you will succeed yes um be mentally disciplined and socialize more to bring balance um and the existence of both your seriousness and inner child so you are a very serious person by nature but you need to nurture your inner child as well and your guys are saying you know being more social will help you to nurture your inner child so whatever it is that you consider as being social whether it's social media whether it's going to social gatherings whether it's twitter spaces whatever it is that allows you to interact with other human beings make time for that um book clubs whatever it is yes be mentally disciplined we just went through that new doors of opportunity will open up for you and these will help you realize that you're not a victim of fate but a co-creator of your own reality so you're not a victim of your circumstances but you have you know the power to kind of bring to life and to manifest the life that you desire for yourself that's what your guides are saying and then develop your intuition and allow yourself to be guided by it more your intuition is that inner voice that guide you know that that is um intuition it's where your guides communicate with you directly so your intuition is receptive of messages from the creator directly so learning to listen to it will have you in a position where you're always one step ahead because you know where to go when to go how to go yes um pile number five is the yellow bead here's what people under this pile can expect in the year 2022 take only what resonates i am doing a general reading it might not resonate to everyone um general reading for the collective so there's a lot of people who are going to be watching so take only what's what what resonates to you and do not force it to resonate um if you would like 
your own personal reading you can dm me on twitter or email me i'm going to insert both my twitter handle and email address in the description box along with the timestamp right so here's what people under pile number five the yellow bead can expect in the year 2022 be careful of the people you meet this year not all of them are trustworthy or have the best interest at heart for you so you will meet people who have dodgy characters and dodgy intentions and your guides are just saying be careful before you allow people into your space before you trust people you know you should first you know get to know them and understand them and um, not everyone is worthy of being in your presence there was a i think it's part number three or part number four people are getting removed from their lives but with you it's not even a removal of people that are existing but it's just a blockage you know of people who who have not come into your life to kind of disturb the balance or bring some some sort of disruption to your life and hinder you from pursuing you know your highest calling so be mindful don't just allow anyone into your space don't just share your energy with just anyone only those that are worthy of your energy um you will soon be hearing news with regards to your professional life or tactic life i think it's supposed to be romantic life yeah you will soon be hearing news with regards to your professional life or your romantic life the news that you hear could be positive or negative whatever it is it will bring changes into your life right so you will hear news with regards to your relationship or your career they could be positive or negative if they're positive you could either be getting employment or getting a raise getting a promotion you know the realization of your project business ideas flourishing if they're negative it could be you not getting employment you losing employment dem dem demo demo i don't know the word but with promote the opposite of promote yeah and then um you know just something negative that you might be hearing if it's in your relationship it could be a new relationship offer the renewal of um, a connection you know if it's negative it could be the loss of love you know maybe a divorce but whatever it means it is it's gonna be life-changing you are very money conscious and will therefore always find a way to make it so never worry about money you know you know how to make money instead of worrying about money take the effort and put it into you know um executing ideas and and um putting into action plans that will bring in money you know how to do it so do it okay use your originality and creativity more as an outlet and means to achieve success so do not be afraid to stand out do not be afraid to be different do not be afraid to be yourself do not be afraid to be original all the time because this is actually what is going to bring you success this also applies especially if you are you know a creative and also if you are also an um, entrepreneurial you know but it could also apply in a work situation um, whichever situation you are in professionally be creative be original at all times and this is what will set you apart from the rest this is what will bring you favor this is what will open up doors you know more doors of opportunity for you um you are very spiritual and learning how to silence your mind so you can listen to your spirit will be beneficial for you so your mind might tend to cloud your judgment or cause you to fear so you should learn how to you know not give in to those fears or to to um, allow those thoughts to keep you trapped you know in, in um, anxieties and uncertainties and um just have more faith and trust that you know you have the right type of gifts and abilities to create the life that you desire because you do also trust that the creator has put together a team of protectors and guides for you and therefore you're protected you do not have to be afraid just walk by faith and trust keep putting in the action and um you know, silencing your mind um some of you could do this through meditation you know i have a video on seven different types of meditation so meditation doesn't have to necessarily be you sitting in a lotus position you know with your eyes closed but it could be dancing it could be gardening there's just seven different types of meditation that i 
talked about before you can search one of my videos um seven different types of meditation it should pop up you can watch on there so you can learn you know techniques on how to silence your mind in order for you to be able to pay attention and uh, to be able to understand your spirit and your spiritual world as well make wise and sound decisions as the reality of your life depends on this so the decisions you make will ultimately decide what your life will look like um, all your efforts and hard work will be rewarded like i said keep putting in the work and effort even when things don't seem promising even when things seem uncertain even when things seem unsteady even when things seem like they're slacking even when things seem like they don't make sense never give up keep working at it and um, you will be rewarded for this do not fixate on the material and financial while neglecting your spirit life so do not allow money to become your god type of vibes make time for your creator and um, investing in your spirit life learn to keep a balance between you know the physical material things and also your spirit life so invest in making money but also invest in making time for god yes and last but not least we have our sixth pile it's the red crystal here's what people under this pile can expect in the year 2022 take only what resonates this is a general reading that i'm doing for the collective if you would like a reading that is personalized for you I, i'm going to insert my email address and also my twitter handle so you can dm me or email me and um, book for your own personal reading right but um, here is your message for 2022. You might go through a period of confusion or feeling lost. So this could be related to um, your purpose in life or you questioning, you know, a lot of things and it's just causing you to feel really lost. And um, it could also be caused by you feeling stagnant and you not knowing which direction to take. Um, this, this, this is what you're going to experience in 2022 right and but do not give up too easily right check again for the solutions to your problem and you might um find them the second time around so the the solution is there the solution to whatever it is that's causing you to feel lost is there you might have just missed it and you're being encouraged not to give up keep looking into it keep investing time you know to find that solution and in so doing you will find the solution and uh, you will get over this you know feeling of hopelessness or feeling of being lost don't write 2022 off because of an issue that you're struggling to get over instead keep positive mindset have hope and uh, keep working at it keep investing in your dreams keep investing in your mental health keep investing in your joy keep investing in your hobbies keep investing in your business just keep investing in yourself keep doing things that will grow you holistically as a human being right um excuse me oh excuse me <laughs> excuse me oh <laughs> right there might also be a loss that you will experience could be a breakup or even the loss of money or getting laid off so you're gonna lose something could be in your relationship could be in your finances could be in your career you know and then your guys are also saying do not make money your sole objective in order for you to be able to build a satisfactory life i think your guides are basically saying for some of you uh this loss that you're going to experience is the closing out of a karmic cycle so it's to teach you you know um detachment and um and also to teach you that you know there's more to life than money and whatever experience you're going to gain after this loss, you know, is one that's going to bring you on the right path to understanding that there's more to life than just money. And in so doing, you will succeed, you know, both generally and also financially. So ironically, you not chasing after money will attract money to you. So this loss you're going to experience is one that's going to enable you to be able to, you know, uh, be in a position to attract success. And also to attract money without obsessing over it yes and then you will need to be very responsible especially in your finances so uh, stay away from debts 
uh, save up if you can and try to find a balance between spending money and making money. You know, uh, uh, the best way to do this is by budgeting. So look into that in the year of 2022. Um, you are protected and will be able to achieve anything you desire as long as you're willing to put in the work. So, you know, whatever loss you experience is gonna be very minor in comparison to the gain the gains that you're gonna have yeah um you will succeed and progress in your career and business life so you're gonna be successful um stay away from gambling and making risky investments or being part of get rich quick schemes keep a positive mindset at all times even during periods of hardships that is the final thing i'm gonna say today i am very exhausted i think it's because it's been a while without me making videos and i was trying to keep the same energy because i was so excited in pi one i'm trying to be as excited in pi six and i am but my energy is not reflecting it because i'm so tired i'm not used to sitting like this and just talking and i've been here for 41 minutes now so thank you so much for watching this video um i'm looking forward to to growing our community in this year and um i'm just wishing you all the best and i'm just i'm just here to say get excited this is our year yeah i love you thank you oh.